GPC, we are modernizing our operations to increase productivity and efficiency across inventory, facilities, and logistic capabilities. Across our operations, we are strategically consolidating our facilities to improve supply chain effectiveness. We are investing in technology and automating our facilities to increase capacity, productivity, and efficiency. Our location strategy and logistics capabilities fully integrate our supplier, distribution, transportation, and store networks, optimizing our supply chain. We keep the world moving. We know today in supply chain, customers have choices. They have choices around what they buy, how they buy it, and when they buy it. So that means we need to build a very dynamic and flexible supply chain that allows us to deliver what customers want, how they want it, and when they want it. We believe GPC is uniquely positioned through our global footprint of over 200 distribution centers, over 750 branches, 9,600 stores, and a final mile delivery fleet of over 13,000 vehicles. We are globally transforming our supply chain. Our business units are focused in three key areas. First, we're focused on optimizing our supply chain. That means integrating our distribution, fulfillment, transportation, store, and supplier networks. We're also investing in the latest tools technology to automate our facilities. And where possible, we are consolidating our footprint globally across the business. What I want to do is walk you through at Motion Industries or the industrial group, how we recognize and rationalize our real estate, the type of technology that we're used, uh, using to support that real estate, and then finally the science that we're using to understand the type of product we need to have uh, in there as well. For over 75 years, Motion has operated under a hub and spoke model, meaning that we have a distribution center feeding over 20 or 30 branch locations. The branch locations then handle final mile packaging and delivery. This does really mean a, a hectic stocking method and the customers didn't always have what they needed in the right place. Today, we've removed a layer of logistics and we are uh, replacing those distribution centers with fulfillment centers who then will execute final mile packaging and delivery. In addition, we're uh, coupling a world-class uh, final mile, including electronic proof of delivery. We're doing this in a way so that all customers that enter their orders by 3 p.m. will have those orders arrive by the following morning of the next business day. And when you take a look at this map, you can see the black dots there. Don't think of them as branch locations, but think of them as heat density for customer demand. And those red dots then would be conceptually where our fulfillment centers would operate. Traditionally, in those distribution centers or fulfillment centers, we would use standard racking and shelving um, to house the uh, inventory. All in, we would process about 95 lines per hour. It's a rather non-scientific approach for how we would locate those distribution centers. Today, we've identified technology that improves productivity by over 545%, and interestingly, requires 40% less square footage. We use geomapping to determine the right location, again, based on that heat density of where our customers are. Here's a picture of the uh, goods to person technology called AutoStore that we've deployed. We piloted it in Birmingham, Alabama. You can see from the top of the grids looking down, those are the bots. We have 23 of those servicing 30,000 bins, about 25,000 SKUs. The photograph on the right is our new solution in Merrillville, Indiana, which is in the process of being constructed. It has 44 bots, 60,000 bins, and about 41,000 SKUs. I like to show this chart because it talks about lines processed per hour and solution size. So lines processed per hour, or LPPH, again, conventionally, would, would operate at about 95 lines. AutoStore has the capacity for 1,000 lines if we would have the throughput for it. VLM is a vertical lift module. These are very tall vending machines. You can string two or three of those together and pull about 120 lines per hour. And this isn't necessarily a speed play, but it's a way to rationalize your space. So all in 585 lines per hour in Birmingham, Alabama. But note the solution size. With conventional shelving and layout, we were at 48,200 square feet. Now all of that product plus 30% more capacity sits on 10,500 square feet. And as we continue to see pressure on uh, commercial real estate, we'll continue to see prices raise. It's important to understand um, the size that we need to house all of that equipment. To make sure that we have the right inventory inside that technology, We've deployed something called Prima, a 
That's our demand planning and forecasting tool. PRIMA stands for Predictive Regressive Integrated Machine Learning Algorithm. It's scientifically developed internally and homegrown, integrated with AI machine learning. We use a control tower approach, meaning that we can move data from one supplier to another or to any other place we choose to deploy it. It uses both internal and external data, or motion and market data. It has about 30,000 lines of code, and we do calibrate it monthly. Now, we use it to leverage opportunities and mitigate risk. By that, I mean to leverage opportunities. That would be to say, when we see that things are improving, and we may want to have more inventory in place, we'll pick this up through our forecasting methodology and make sure that we increase our stocking position. Conversely, we know that if we need to be less robust in our purchasing, we can mitigate bullwhip or have material arrive before you realize you've got more than you really need. On the right-hand side, we take a look at the regressors or data. Again, internally, we're measuring the things you would expect, like sales and bookings, quotes, purchase orders, etc. But externally, we're looking at suppliers and suppliers' supplier data, customers, our customers' customers' data, and so forth and so on. We're looking at sales surprise, new sentiment, raw material pricing, just to name a few. And all of this gets put into that, that 30,000 lines of code. What we've done is we've placed Prima midstream of the data. And so to Prima's right or your left, you'll see where we've got our strategic suppliers where we're looking for that external information and other suppliers and also their competitors. To Prima's left, we're looking at our internal data, our customers' data, our suppliers' customers, and so forth and so on. And again, all of this becomes a part of the algorithm that we use. We also integrate it with purchasing. So it works like this. If we start in the uh, first quadrant there, we'll see where Prima will take a look at one billion records and throw out all the irregularities. From there, she'll determine usage and lead time by DC, FC, or SKU. And then finally, analyze our customers' SKUs and mitigate any risk. Forecast usage and lead time is considered so that at number five, stocking levels are calculated and then safety stock. And then finally, we kind of stop and take a look at that and say, are there any inventory procedures that have changed since the last time I ran this formula? Do you have any inventory that you want to speculate on? If the answer is yes, those are contemplated. If not, we then move that over into a shared service center in Atlanta where the purchase orders are built and grouped and the orders are staged. And now what we're doing is actually integrating that with our suppliers so that we electronically feed that order to our suppliers so that we have end-to-end -end demand planning all the way into purchase. Jeff? So as we optimize and automate our distribution and fulfillment centers, it allows us to have the opportunity to consolidate. You can see across the globe, we have several new distribution centers under construction and or nearing completion. They are outfitted with the latest tools, technology, and automation. And in several instances, we are, audit we are consolidating two to three facilities and sometimes upwards of five to seven facilities. Our end-to-end -end connected supply chain is coming together. It is fully integrated. It is becoming more accurate, transparent, in stock, efficient and reliable, which is allowing us to exceed our customers' expectations. We appreciate you giving us a little bit of time to talk to you about what's happening in the supply chain. Thank you. GPC aims to lead in emerging technologies. Leveraging our unique positioning, global scale, and one GPC team approach. From technologies such as ADAS, to connectivity, shared mobility trends, and electric vehicles, we are focused on enhancing supplier relationships, expanding product offerings, and investing in talent. EVs are a small but growing part of the car park, and GPC is building a global EV network to keep them on the road. We are offering the tools and training techs needed to service these vehicles. NextDrive, powered by NAPA, is the service network for the next generation of cars. Our certified workshops, which originated in Europe, are rolling out across our global markets. Our solutions that serve customers with the right parts, equipment, and marketing expertise drive demand in the aftermarket. We Keep the world moving. We're excited to talk to you about emerging technologies today. Although electric vehicle sales are growing, the proportion of EVs on the road will be a more gradual change. ICE vehicles will remain predominant even in 2030. 
The rate of adoption is quicker in our European and Canadian markets. In the US and Asia Pacific, this propulsion shift comes later. Nonetheless, we recognize this shift comes once in a lifetime and we're adapting our strategy accordingly. We believe there are four competitive advantages that position GPC to be the market leader in our space. Our presence in higher adoption EV markets is something that most North American competitors don't have. Our robust training and garage network management function brings customers on this journey in new technologies. Partnerships with premium suppliers ensure our customers have full access to parts, services, training, and information. And finally, our coordinated focus approach to this function. It means we can repeat successes from each of our business units across others. We design our strategy and initiatives around three key pillars. Most important, training and access to information. Modern vehicles are more complex, and the presence of electric current in the vehicle means there are technician safety risks. We provide our technicians with the necessary training and provide additional access to vehicle technical information and advanced diagnostics. The second pillar is providing services and an equipment offering to our workshops. We're helping them fulfill their demand for modern solutions to run their businesses and outcompete their competitors. Our third pillar is parts, where we continue to remain experts in identifying and purchasing the products our customers need. 90% of the parts on an ICE vehicle will remain on an electric vehicle. There are also opportunities for new EV product families and advanced electronics that my colleague will speak to you later. Finally, I want to call out NextDrive, an exciting initiative we believe brings together all three of these pillars. So NextDrive, powered by Napa, was a brand that was launched in the Netherlands in 2020. This brand expanded to the rest of Europe, went over to Canada, the US, and expected to be global by the end of 2023. Now, what is this brand? Well, it's simply driven by customer need. Uh, customers are looking for alternatives to repair and maintain their EVs. The only option they had before was going to the OE dealership. Today, they will have an option to go to the next drive authorized uh, Napa facility. Also, aftermarket shops have been looking for solutions for quite a while now, seeing the market change in some areas throughout the world, some faster than others, and they're looking for help in supporting them and leadership into the EV space and the hybrid space. Therefore, NextDrive is a solution that we provide. We launched the program. Uh, it's a program that's available to our Napa networks uh, with a rather small capital investment on their part, and it provides them a solution for their future. There's really five pillars holding the strategy for a next drive powered by Napa. First of all, training. So training will be key. We need to train technicians uh, in every one of the next drive facilities to make sure they repair the vehicle right the first time. Uh, marketing and branding, targeted marketing for both the garages and consumers will be used. And we'll be uh, quite a bit stricter on the brand and signage guidelines that we've been using. Technical support, which is well done in, in, in Europe today, is also a key piece. Uh, information will be required. We're looking for a supplier partner for uh, North America right now. Uh, equipment, uh, there's specialized equipment that's required for EVs, which did not exist before. So we need to guide our shop owners as to the equipment they need to buy and also have an audit system to make sure that they stay up to date on the equipment and stay up to date on the training because the cars are going to continue to evolve. Finally, Napa's got the greatest uh, footprint out there uh, in terms of stores. Uh, we need to provide store training so that the Napa store can uh, service the next drive facility in the same way so they both understand EVs and hybrid vehicles uh, uh, and talk the same language. So when you think about electric vehicles, most of the products and services performed on these vehicles are the same as for combustion engines. That being said, we're very excited about some of the new products that are coming into the market. I'll start by talking about thermal management. If you think about the hose systems for a combustion engine versus an EV, 
The EV is much more complex with many more hoses than a combustion engine. Also, uh, using Tesla as an example, because they're a majority market share in the pure electric vehicle market, we offer thousands of parts for Teslas. One example of that is Brembo Brakes, who is the OE supplier for Tesla. We are going to be launching next month an exclusive offer of Brembo Brakes in the US aftermarket, and we're very excited about that. We're also excited about seeing the different types of new categories that are coming in. For example, vehicle chargers. We have a number of different partners that are supplying these vehicle chargers for us and for our customers. When you turn and think about the workshop, they also have a lot of needs around electric vehicles. There's new diagnostics tools, as well in particular safety equipment. That could be anything from gloves to insulated tools. And we're currently launching a full line of insulated tools under our private label Carlisle brand. And we will be the only ones in the aftermarket to have that. Lastly, I don't want to forget about advanced driving assistance systems. So this is all the functionality up to and including self-driving. So think about your lane departure warnings, your adaptive cruise control. All of these functions require many sensors and cameras, and this is a growing exponentially in the marketplace. So whether you have an EV or not, this is relevant. And it's not just the products that's an opportunity. The workshops need to calibrate these cameras and sensors to make sure they continue to work properly. And we are happy to sell these workshops, the equipment needed to do these calibrations. So in conclusion, we are very excited about our opportunities in emerging technologies. With significant investments in technology and analytics to improve competitive pricing actions, GPC delivers a best-in-class customer experience and profitable growth. We are utilizing a surgical approach to pricing, better aligning with our customers' needs and behaviors. With increased visibility into service levels and cost to serve, we are optimizing customer-specific pricing. GPC continues to build the capabilities and talents of our global pricing teams based on the changing dynamics of our strategies. We keep the world moving. Genuine Parts is leveraging technology and data to enhance our strategic pricing capabilities across all business units. Pricing creates a unique opportunity for both the automotive and industrial parts groups to gain increased market share while improving profitability. This is an increase in both top line and bottom line. We've developed financial models to quantify relevant costs, profitability and pricing scenarios across all offerings and markets. Our design strategy was built around the unique product and service offerings of the different businesses. We will highlight our approach to customer segmentation, end-to-end -end profitability, and capability building as we are continuing to invest in technology to further increase our strengths of being competitive and profitable. On customer segmentation, Genuine Parts continues to enhance our data, advanced analytics, and digital capabilities to deliver profitable growth and a best-in-class customer experience. Our strategy is to take a customer-back approach to ensure that we are fully understanding all facets of our customers' needs and behaviors. To do so, we employ surgical price setting done at the customer and product level to most effectively align with customer needs, demand fluctuation, and expectations. This includes competitive benchmarking on market pricing, real-time data and analytics, and a focus on engaging our customer base with competitive product prices and reinvestment in high growth areas. We continue to refine and test this approach through dynamic and value-based customer pricing. We've developed a comprehensive customer discount decision tree process which identifies significant customer attributes for hundreds of product groups from thousands of suppliers and makes over 20 million price recommendations for a single business unit. As many of you know, each of our customers has a choice in how they want to interact with us. So as we refine our pricing strategy internally, we're staying mindful of the importance of pricing for digital and all other omnichannel expansions. Our pricing recommendations will remain consistent and synchronously updated across all buying platforms. As we continue to expand this scalable approach and methodology, our future pricing investments will help allow us to advance our customer segmentation criteria, providing price sensitivity and elasticity across all customers and product groups. 
So equally as important to understanding the buying patterns and behaviors of our customers is having an increased visibility into the service levels and customer cost to serve to further optimize that pricing. We're linking new pieces of customer insights to establish and build an end-to-end -end margin view of true profitability. We're connecting 20 plus data sources to drive innovative visibility into price realization and potential revenue and margin leakage. By having this comprehensive view of cost to serve, profit, profitability by customer, product, suppliers, we can account for all stages of value creation and better serve our customers by aligning our services to what our customers actually want and need. With the full visibility into contribution margin, we're able to create targeted pricing strategies at the customer level. What underpins all of these pricing strategies is profitable, competitive pricing that's designed to unlock growth, but also match expectations of our cost to serve. So as we continue to refine this capability, we'll develop even more detailed analysis and comprehensive understanding of our customers relative to their servicing stores and DCs in the market. One of the most fundamental benefits of this is the increased transparency into different levels of profitability. Everything from gross margin to controllable merch margin to contribution margin, it enables us to further optimize the network service levels and our cost. And as these analytics continue to evolve, they can be integrated into our customer and product segmentation methodology to ensure that our discounts are further informed by cost to serve and relative competitive positioning. As we modernize our platforms, we're identifying opportunities to develop recurring alerts, which will then identify any changes in cost to serve by customer. And as we embed this into our systems, we'll continue to enrich our data with addressable wallet and greenfield opportunity to then tailor our pricing and drive increased sales and market share. One of our additional critical focal points is a continued investment in building the holistic capabilities and talents of the pricing organization. By leveraging in tech and analytics to drive revenue quality through customer-centric focus, we can then systematically improve the speed, quality, and the impact of our competitive pricing actions. As we've mentioned, we're currently investing in more advanced and robust technology, both internally developed and also through partnerships with external pricing management software providers. This will allow us to take that next step in terms of tools and resources for not only improved performance visibility, but also to support price management and optimization objectives. Combined with this, we're looking to continue to build and supplement our talent profiles to evolve into a best-in-class pricing organization and use this as a competitive advantage for all of GPC businesses. We're looking at the changing dynamics of our pricing strategy and then aligning new talent profiles and positions to complement that evolution of our pricing organization. In the near term, we're building out a pricing analytics and data science team in our Poland Tech Center that'll help drive increased data analytics. And in support of that effort, we're normalizing and centralizing all GPC data for pricing to Google Cloud, and that'll allow us to apply Google's machine learning and other AI tools to then optimize our pricing recommendations. Looking into the future of our establishment of a best-in-class pricing organization, the development of innovative strategies to increase ongoing resource talent and retainment assurance is vital. We look to help accomplish this by offering our talent-based opportunities to grow and expand their knowledge base and career development with things like pricing rotations, data science certifications, et cetera, all part of a comprehensive pricing academy change management program of work. So a lot of exciting things to come here in the pricing world. With deep understanding of our unique customer segments, GPC utilizes data analytics to drive an increasing mix of traditional selling and digital commercial strategies. Whether the driver or pro, the buyer or facilities engineer, our customers' experiences are interlinked in a unique solutions ecosystem. We have mapped the customer journey to craft omni-channel experiences for parts, service, and solutions. Our digital capabilities and unmatched automotive and industrial networks give GPC a competitive advantage to deliver a best-in-class customer experience. We keep the world moving. Today we're going to be walking you through how digital is improving our customers' experience at GPC through a little storytelling. At GPC, we start all strategic initiatives with a deep understanding of the customer derived through customer immersion, principles of design thinking, 
and customer segmentation with clearly articulated customer personas. At Napa, we have three main types of customers. First, the driver, who's the vehicle owner. Second, the pro, who's the repair shop. And third, our partners, independent owners of Napa Auto Parts Stores and Napa Auto Care Centres. At Motion, we have many types of customers. Today, we will be focusing on two primary. First, the operational buyer. Second, are our sales associates. We don't think of our customers in silos, rather we see them existing in this fluid customer solutions ecosystem. This unique ecosystem is enabled by technology and proprietary digital interfaces. At Napa, we have digital interfaces for the driver, for the pro, and for the partner. At Motion, we have digital interfaces for our local buyers, for maintenance managers and engineers, and for our sales associates. Meet passionate planner Rebecca. She's online researching a noise in Acura's brakes. She sees a Napa community thread with information from other enthusiasts who recommend downloading the Napa app to get access to diagnostic services, how-to videos, and tools required to do specific jobs. She enters her vehicle details. After watching, she's a little nervous about doing the job herself. So she clicks on book an auto care appointment, which instantly shows her that there's availability the next morning. At the local Napa Auto Care Centre, Joe is alerted to the new appointment. He can see that the, the required parts are available at the local Napa Auto Parts store. He assesses the system generated cost estimate and labour scheduler and accepts the appointment. Rebecca receives a guaranteed upfront quote and appointment confirmation. Meanwhile, at the local Napa Auto Parts store, the part order is received. Team member Susan immediately picks the parts, which instantly sends a confirmation to Joe that they're on their way. The next morning, Rebecca's alerted via the Napa app that her appointment's running on time. Upon arrival, she's welcomed by name and her pre-ordered lift is ready to get her to work on time. During the repair, the Napa Auto Care technician, Max, identifies an unexpected issue. Uh, oh, it's a tricky one. He FaceTimes Napa tech support for diagnostic help. He's instantly connected and using AR technology works through the diagnosis. The system prepares an auto quote for the additional work, checks parts availability and assesses the day's schedule to ensure the job can be completed by the end of Rebecca's workday. It can. Joe contacts Rebecca. She is not happy. Is this an unnecessary upsell? Using interactive video, Joe explains the problem and outlines Napa's flexible payment plan. Rebecca is impressed. Upon completion of the job, Rebecca receives an alert, details of her payment plan and the time her vehicle will be dropped off at her workplace. A few days after the repair, she receives a thank you message together with an invitation to attend a maintenance evening at her local Napa parts store. She books herself and her son via the Napa app. Upon arrival, they're welcomed by name, and the Napa team member highlights the exclusive special on wiper blades. As Rebecca approaches the section, the specific blade for her vehicle lights up on the shelf and she places payment on the mobile app, and is just in time to enjoy the maintenance workshop. It's being facilitated by Max from the Napa Auto Care Centre. Napa really is relevant beyond just the parts. Austin has procurement and operations responsibilities at a large automotive manufacturer. In his role as a buyer, he needs to be able to quickly discover and compare parts, quote, and check out. Each day, buy lists for preventative and reactive maintenance schedules come his way. Motion search experience, powered by Google, gives him quick access to the parts he needs even when he starts his search outside of Motion.com. Austin needs insights into transactional data like tracking information, proofs of delivery, and invoices. Soon he will have business intelligence and analytics capabilities to review and better manage his spend with Motion. He has all of this at his fingertips on Motion.com and considers these e-commerce table stakes not enough to differentiate Motion from its competitors. But when coupled with Motion's other digital offerings, it's a game changer. When Austin fills his operational or engineering role, his views are accompanied by complete technical attributes and values, ensuring the most technical research is possible. For his engineering work and modeling, 3D product images are available and downloadable, letting him work on the CAD or 3D modeling solution of his choice. As Austin monitors his operations, Motion's platform supports telemetric data feeds from sensors in his plants via an integrated digital twin. This gives him operational insights they would not be able to achieve without massive capital expense. After talking to his sales associate, he knows the plant floor experience is being expanded upon to include augmented reality, to facilitate remote assistance, 
or augment the plant floor with dynamic parts viewing that integrate directly into Motion.com shopping cart. By immersing themselves in his operations, Motion enables Austin to better run his operation using Motion's digital assets. Jessica, an invested sales associate, starts her week by planning her sales and solutions call and analyzing her book of business. She uses a custom mobile sales enablement tool that allows her to manage her business anytime, anywhere. At a glance, Jessica checks KPIs, giving quick insights into day-to-day -day sales, profit, and margin. She recalls that she has organic growth targets and a meeting with a new food and beverage customer this week. A quick view of customer snapshot gives her what she needs to best plan her sales topics. Before she finishes her sales planning, she checks on her e-commerce web sales. She's working to flip several progressive buyers to the web platform and is seeing growing success and adoption. Finally, she checks the latest sales plays to see what profit-optimized targets have come her way. The AI and machine learning algorithm is starting to curate sales plays, helping her best serve the customer in the most effective and efficient manner. NAPA is uniquely positioned for three main reasons. First, the strength, trust and credibility associated with a 98-year-old brand leader. Second, only NAPA has branded parts and care at scale. And third, NAPA's independent model, fueled by increasing need to partner with vehicle complexity, emerging technologies and business playbooks for success. Motion is uniquely positioned for three main reasons. First, we are the premier industrial solutions provider because of our people, culture, and our digital assets. Second, our customers require partners that will support their current operations and future expansion efforts regardless of the industry and maturity. Finally, we are bringing technology and digital front and center to a 75-year-old business model that is ripe for modernization and positive disruption. In closing, we start with the customer experience Technology is infused in all that we do and enables the customer experience. We are guided by the vision of driving relevance beyond just access to the parts and we leverage GPC's unmatched solutions ecosystem to drive business value and differentiation. We want to thank you for listening to our digital presentation today and hearing about how we're improving the customer's experience at GPC. GPC customers look to us to deliver a mix of traditional and digital sales strategies that drive their profitability. We have a unique global view of our customers. We are using that intelligence to automate and improve operations and to unlock new business opportunities. We also provide innovative programs to automotive shop owners across the globe. And today, we have the largest partner workshop network on the planet. Supporting these sales strategies, we offer extensive training for automotive technicians and industrial customers. At GPC, we bring solutions to life for all our customers. We keep the world moving. GPC is uniquely positioned with the world's largest network of affiliated workshops through the brands that are shown on the screen. And we've been in the business of supporting these workshop owners through these brands for over 40 years across the world. And in our experience, these programs are a source of sustainable competitive advantage for GPC. With over 30,000 shops globally, our shop owners serve the auto service and repair market, the collision repair and the truck service and repair markets. And as you can see, we've got shops located all across America, Canada, the UK, Europe, and even Australia. We also have dedicated teams domiciled in each geography supporting those networks. And our customers are deeply integrated into our parts business. And as a result, we enjoy an upweighted share of wallet of around 50% with these workshop owners. They share our brands with pride. They're really loyal supporters. And as I said, they're deeply integrated into our business. And as a result, they're stickier with GPC. And many of them are very progressive, forward-thinking owners, making them their ideal partners as we continue to evolve and adapt our business to the changing landscape. And an ideal example of that is how we prepare for a world of EV and future technologies, and how we bring programs like NextDrive to the market with scale and speed across the world. 
And finally, we network with each other. We share learning and best practice across the group and we really bring to life our one GPC culture. We use that best practice and shared learning from programs like the ones I've just talked around uh, to strengthen our overall value proposition in the market to all of our customer channels. And speaking of the value proposition, I'll hand over to Brett now and he'll take us through it in a bit more detail. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, an important note uh, as we think about the value proposition that we uniquely deliver to the Global Workshop Partnerships is that we, uh, we administer these programs by invitation only. So you can't just be a partner of Genuine Parts Company. You're invited to the program, and then we vet these customers a variety of different ways. I mean, one unique way is that we validate their, their technician credentials uh, on their behalf through validation partners and, 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 and things uh, like ASC certification. So this is the value tree uh, or, the, or the value wheel of a customer and how they buy parts from a parts provider. And you can see that it's availability, ease of ordering, delivery price, but then it ends up at that value add program. So we believe that General Parts Company differentiates in the value add space by focusing on four main tenets. The first is that we want to drive customer car count and revenue. We do that in a, in a variety of ways. Uh, one example of that is that we provide nationwide warranty. So when you go to a partner of Genuine Parts Company and get your car fixed, if that car has a problem anywhere in country, across the US, across Australia, you can get that car re-repaired and then Genuine Parts Company pays the second repair shop's labor and parts, making it a frictionless experience for the motorist. Number two, we provide things like digital vehicle inspection programs. The motorist is getting more accustomed to having digital and, 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 and images in order to say yes to the estimate. We provide those programs. Whether it be turnkey marketing, whether it be co-branding, we actually allow our partnership uh, to co-brand with the Genuine Parts Company brands, and we do that through a locally owned, nationally known mantra. Number two, we want to drive customer profitability. So they get the car in the shop, now how can we make them more productive and more efficient in turning their labor? We do that through business coaching. Wayne mentioned that we have teams of people domiciled in the field that are meeting with our partners on a regular basis, and they're, doing, uh, they're having those meetings and being, uh, taking a consultative approach to how to run their business. Business development groups, think of 20 groups. We, uh, we foster uh, groups across our countries that allow shop owners to get together and share best practices. We provide priority services, priority, partner, or priority um, pricing, incentives, and rebates. These are value adds that allow the shop to be more profitable, and it really sets them apart as a special customer within the Genuine Parts Company portfolio. We want to drive customer productivity, and the best way to do that is via technology. So things like delivery tracking, where the shop and the technician knows where his part is in the order and the delivery process at all times. Things like B2B e-commerce. These are e-commerce portals where Genuine Parts Company provides enhanced data to the shop floor that allows that shop to order the right part at the right time for that car. Think of things like part attributes, good, better, best strategy, even migrating into repair data. So we, allow, we provide verified fixed data within our solutions that allows the, the shop to get uh, to the repair solution that works faster than he would otherwise. And then shop management solutions. Uh, we provide a shop management system that includes a point of sale and a back office system that makes the shop more productive and allows them to run their business better. And these, uh, many of these solutions are a very discounted rate or even free as long as they uh, honor us with their, with their loyalty. And then lastly, driving technician efficiency. So last year we trained 50,000 technicians. We have our own training companies. Uh, our own training, our own trainers on, uh, on our payroll. And, and the way that we do that is we provide classroom training. Uh, in the evenings, we get our technicians together. We provide virtual training. We even have an online suite of training that they can take 24-7, uh, uh, 365. And our, our approach to training is unique. We don't want to train the uh, technician just on the system. We want to actually train them on how to be faster and how to really, on how their, their, their acumen can actually produce profit for the shop uh, in, in their repair experience. And then finally, um, we have more technicians leaving the workforce than we have joining the workforce. So we want to help solution that. 
by adding technicians into our global partnerships and then also building technicians from the shop floor up through our apprenticeship programs. So uh, we do that with a 24-month apprenticeship program teaching the, uh, the young technician or the new technician on the four main repair categories over the course of those 24 months. And these uh, type of programs have been wildly successful, even recognized by the Department of Labor. So in a nutshell, it's more than just selling auto parts. It's about providing deeply integrated business solutions. And what that does is result in a higher share of wallet for genuine parts company. The end result of this mantra or this model that we've taken to the street is that these 30,000 repair shops, they actually create a more frictionless repair experience for the motorist. With that, I thank you for your time today. Motion here today at the industrial customer solutions area is displaying our different opportunities to be able to provide solutions to our end customers in the marketplace. Motion is a premier industrial solutions provider in the marketplace where we really have positioned not just our products and caring for our manufacturers in the field and keeping their production facilities up and running, but we've also coupled them with solutions. As we move forward into some mega trends that we'll talk about here in the reasons why motion solutions are being sought after by the marketplace is the rise of Industry 4.0. When you look at the mega trends of connectivity with industrial IoT, industrial networking, intelligence such as machine learning and cybersecurity, alongside with flexible automation, which includes robotics, vision, conveyance, and power solutions, we really are entering a forefront where advanced automation, data exchange, and intelligent manufacturing technologies are really opening up significant opportunities for companies to embrace more and more digital transformation. So going further into the positioning of our automation solutions in robotics and conveyance and fluid power technologies, I'd like to just share with you a bit more about where we see full value solution providers going into the marketplace such as industrial manufacturing for us to position motion and moreover really bring forward increasing value that is being sought out by industrial manufacturers to optimize their operations and unlock new business opportunities. So there are robust secular growth opportunities for these technologies and how they're being driven by customers shifting business outcomes. We believe that our business in motion and as far as our solutions are well positioned to capitalize on these opportunities. Full value solution providers such as Motion are increasingly being sought out by industrial manufacturers to help them optimize their operations and unlock new business opportunities. 
There are robust secular growth opportunities for these technologies and how they are being driven by customers shifting business outcomes. We believe that our motion business is well positioned to capitalize on these opportunities. Recent trends show that investment in automation for digital transformation in factories is growing at a compound annual growth rate of 20%. This growth is driven by the need for companies to increase their efficiency, improve product quality, and reduce cost. Additionally, 80% of North American manufacturing companies are likely to reshore manufacturing, bringing supply chains closer to North America from Asia Pacific. As these manufacturers bring their operations closer to home, they are increasingly looking to adapt advanced technologies to enhance their operations and remain competitive. Another important driver of the adoption of automation technologies is the labor shortages in the manufacturing industry. According to a report that the U.S. manufacturing industry is projected to have 2.1 million unfilled jobs by 2030 due to a lack of skilled labor, Automation technologies offer a way to bridge this gap by replacing tedious, repetitive, and dangerous manual labor with more efficient, reliable, and safe automated systems. We see a robust secular growth opportunities driven by customers shifting to business outcomes supported by solution providers. Here at Motion, we have the solution providers across three different segments, MI Conveyance Solutions, MI Fluid Power Solutions, and Motion Automation Intelligence, Motion AI. The first business that we highlight is the MI Conveyance Solutions, specializing in design and support of conveying systems, also manufacturing light and heavy duty weight belting, repair and services for our customers in this solution space. Additionally, MI Fluid Power Solutions is positioned for hydraulic specialization with 60 retail stores across nationwide, providing design concepts across hydraulic implementations, creating solutions that are connected in industrial manufacturing environments to provide hydraulic power solutions in the adoption of Industry 4.0 across these sectors. And last is the Motion Automation Intelligence Motion AI team of high-tech automation product providers that include robotics along with inspection systems, which include vision, IOT for networking, alongside with complete engineered systems in the marketplace across North America. The path is clear for us to grow in automation, to take part in future growth around the digitization of manufacturing environments, really having a connected factory floor that will provide us with more motion solution opportunities across all these three different business units as we categorize how we can really bring value in bringing efficiency, improve productivity, and quality as the rise of automation and robotics and power technologies are applied across the marketplace.